So I've had the iOS 16 beta for about a month now and I've been testing it out, seeing like what the best features are and I've come up with a list of my top five favorite features in iOS 16. So I'm gonna tell you guys all about it now. So let's get into it. First feature is wallpapers. Wallpapers, now iOS 16 introduces a whole new refresh on wallpapers. I personally really love what they've done. You can personalize your wallpaper into any type of format that you'd like. It basically depends on what your focus modes are. If you choose a certain type of focus, it can change to that type of wallpaper, which is kind of cool. I personally do like it. I think it's a cool feature that Apple has brought in. So with the new wallpapers in iOS 16, Apple has introduced a new feature where you can actually press an image and it kind of hides in the background. They use machine learning and AI to do that, which is a pretty cool feature because like now the image is like in the background. They still haven't really fixed it in the way that you can have widgets on it. So that brings me to my next point. You can actually customize your widgets so that you have different types of widgets on your wallpaper. Put your calendar, your battery percentage, your date and time, your fitness, anything, your reminders as well. You can literally customize it to have anything you'd like on your lock screen, which is kind of cool. The hide feature, like where it puts the image in the background, it kind of doesn't work as of yet with widgets. I don't know if they're gonna fix it or not, but at the moment it just doesn't work. But if you do like not mind that, you can literally just add it without the widgets. But I personally do love adding widgets because it allows me to see more on my lock screen. The next point is the notifications. You can now select the types of notifications you get. You have three options. You have the stack, list, or account, as well as live notifications that come onto iOS 16 on the wallpapers. Personally, I do like that you can add like stacks, list, and count. I personally prefer the stacks because stacks just puts it at the bottom and like I don't want it to like interfere with my wallpaper. So I'd rather keep stacks as the type of notification display that I get on this iOS 16. You can figure out what you prefer more. You can have the list, as I said, or the count. Personally, I like the stack. It's kind of cool and I'm definitely gonna stick with the stack, but you guys can select anything you like. With the stacks, you also get live updates. So live updates, as you guys can see, is such a cool feature because it allows you real time to see what's happening real time, games, and as well as clock. That's such a cool feature because clock, just seeing it count down on your lock screen is so amazing to me. Like it's such a cool feature that Apple have introduced and I really like it because it allows me to keep track of how much time is left without ever like having to open my phone before and then having to open clock and then having to check and all of that. It just makes life a bit easier. So now with music, you can now add album artwork to the lock screen, which is kind of cool. Cause like now, as you guys can see, it is so amazing. You can literally lock your phone, open it, and you can like see the music that you're listening to. And if you like tap it so that it like kind of closes, you can now see like the mini, the mini part of the music, which you can like scrub through. And if you tap on the album artwork, it expands and then the album artwork is there. I personally love it. Before this beta, I have the final beta, well, I hope it's the final. Um, it was a bit bigger, but Apple decided to reduce it. I think it was a good thing to reduce it because before it was just too big and it like took up too much space, but now it looks like more generic and more, you know, synced with the phone and the layout. I really love this new refresh that Apple has done in music. It really allows you to expand the way you listen to music, the way you share your music, because I personally love just having my phone open up and I can see my music up there. It's so cool and yeah, I personally love it. 
all the small features like literally everything small that like it helps you maximize your productivity in like your phone yeah all the small features that are kind of cool that weren't there before but are here now which excites me one of these small features is haptic feedback i'm sure you guys if you've owned an iphone 8 and below you remember this feature allowed you to like tap and literally click as you were typing so you could actually hear those generic clicks as you can right now i personally love it like these clicks it just makes me feel like i'm actually typing not like before where like they didn't have it so this is coming up to ios 16 yeah so i'm very excited about that to have that back another cool feature that apple has small feature that apple has brought back is the battery percentage so the problem i had with this in the beginning with the previous beta was that it wasn't really showing like your battery really dropping and i think it does that it still does that but like now like when it drops below 20 percent now you can actually see it drop like further down but because before you could only like see it like the same as if it's 100 percent and 20 50 percent you know like you couldn't really tell like your battery was dropping unless you actually looked at the percentage. I think that's the problem that I had. I don't know if you guys also felt that feel that way when it comes out. I hope like it's not the same when it does come out, but I personally feel like that's something that should be added like to physically see your battery drop is a cool feature that I wish that they could add. And another small feature that I discovered just like a few days ago is that in notes you can actually click on something like degrees as you guys can see now like degrees celsius you can convert to celsius fahrenheit or kelvin you can literally convert the degrees and you can convert currency to your native currency which is so cool like those are like the small features that i personally love and guess what you can also do this in videos and you can also do this in pictures which is so cool because like before you couldn't really do it but now you can do it and it just like makes life a lot easier and another small feature that i've no discovered not long ago was that you can now like select the subject of an image copy it and send it to someone and literally send it copy and paste and there we go the subject of it, the image is cropped out and you can send it to that person that's such a cool feature uh it's the small things that matter guys literally the smallest things matter since we're done with the small features it brings me to my last 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 thing send and undo messages so this feature is so cool because now you can like send and unsend messages through messages which is cool because you didn't do this before and the person has to have ios 16 in order to see that you've deleted the message so or edit the message so you basically have to be like on the same same software in order for that to happen otherwise if you try to do it I have iOS 16 and then I send it to someone who has like iOS 15 and like it's an embarrassing text and then you want to delete it. The person's still going to see it. There's nothing you can do about that. But like as soon as the full beta, the full iOS 16 comes out, you can send and undo messages, which is a very cool feature. I'm very excited about it. And I save the best for last because I personally, that is my personal favorite of all these features so i'm excited about that and more tech news that is coming up this tech December. yeah this tech December. i'm very excited and i hope you guys are too thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys in the next one